All right, back on the spread again, because we're hungry again. This time we're gonna do it a little bigger. We're gonna make a breakfast burrito of sorts. First you're gonna need beef soup. Make sure you smash it up. Gotta have it smashed. I went ahead and got one more of these. This one's gonna be the bacon. Egg, potato, bacon, and cheese, cheddar cheese. Go ahead and get one of those and uh, cook it up. Also, you want to grate you some cheese. You know what I'm saying? And get some fire, some fire water for it. Along with a bowl. and a couple tortillas. You get know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and throw this together and I'll check back with you in a sec. All right, now that we got that all taken care of, you should have your soup, you know, cooked and strained out. Make sure you throw the seasoning packet right on top of that. I'm gonna spin that up real quick. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. You know what I mean? That way. It's all up in there. And then we're gonna throw this uh, little breakfast bowl right on the top of that. Bam, bam, just like that. Spin that all up. This is not for the faint of heart, just so you know. All right, so once you got the whole little breakfast bowl intertwined with your, your soup, it should look a little something like that. And then I'm gonna show you what we do when you get that all taken care of. Be right back. Alright, so in conclusion, after heating up the tortillas for a small sec and then slapping the spread on the tortillas and then some cheese on top of that with a little bit of fire sauce, you're going to have this right here. And then what you do is you just uh, go ahead and throw those into burrito mode. Now I'm not the best burrito wrapper in the world, I will confess to that, however, I'm also not a taco folder. See, I think that if you can't fold a burrito properly, then you get a taco. I think that's what happened. I think that the people invented the taco when they couldn't fold the burrito right, so. Yo, <laughs> say it, there it is right there. We're gonna put the dirty side on the bottom, let you look at it, yeah. And if you're interested in trying this, you got the steps right before your eyes. Go ahead and take it for a whirl, Earl. And um, I'm gonna go tear this down and uh, just to let you know, there was still more left over, you know what I mean? So like I said, this is not for the faint of heart. This is someone that's trying to take one top ramen and feed the masses. So if you like it, then like it. If you don't, then you won't.